the believer's authority. Wow. And he said that uh, Jesus always said what the Father told him to say, right? Mm -hmm. Well, we should say what Jesus said. And the Bible, nowhere in the Bible does it say that we're the claim that we sit. That's right. right. Nowhere in the Bible does it say that we're the claim that we're poor. You know what I mean? Right. Right. So we shouldn't be claiming that. Thing. We shouldn't be, even though... Even though we are attacked by these things, we're, 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 we're not to open our mouth mm -hmm. and take hold of them. That's right. So that's how you grab a thought, by speaking. Mm -hmm. uh, Jesus said in Matthew 6, 31, I believe it is, he said, take no thought, say me. Well, that's how you take a thought. When the enemy brings that thought about you sick, when the enemy brings a thought about you poor, mm -hmm. the way it becomes yours is by saying it. Amen. So when that thought comes, we need to say what the word says. Amen. 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 We need to stop claiming all that stuff from the devil. It's not ours. That's right. Amen. All right, let's pray. Father, we thank you once again for this opportunity to come together to fellowship with one thank another. You, Lord. Thank you, Father, for each and every one that's here tonight, Lord. We just give you praise and honor. I thank you for them. I pray that no one sits in here in discomfort or in pain. I thank you that as your word goes forth tonight, Father, that signs and wonders are accompanying your words. Thank you for revelation knowledge flowing freely, unhindered, uninterrupted by any satanic or demonic spirit. Thank you, Father, that we decrease and you increase. All of you and none of us. Anoint every ear in here to hear your word, every heart to receive it, and every spirit to contain it. I ask, Father, that you think through my mind and speak through my vocal cords all that you have me to say to these your sheep. And Father, we'll be ever so mindful to always give you the praise and always give you the glory. It's in Jesus' name and everyone in agreement. Say amen. 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 Praise God. Amen. Can y'all hear him? Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're teaching on a series called <coughs> Spiritual Warfare. And we're on the second teaching of this series, which is Controlling Your Thoughts. Now, in this series, in this second teaching, we've already talked about deception is the devil's only weapon. Okay? Mm -hmm. And we talked about the battle takes place in the mind. Mm -hmm. Now we're talking about bringing every thought captive to the obedience of the Word of God, for that's how you win the battle of the mind. Amen? Amen. We talked about last week how ideas and speculations and reasoning and, 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 and all that type of thinking, like philosophizing and all that kind of thinking, it, 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 it interferes with our relationship with God. It, it opens the door for the enemy to deceive us. Mm -hmm. That's why I like what Jesus said. He said, let your yes be yes and your no be no. Yeah. You have to say what the word, you have to say what the word says. Right. Amen? Amen. So we're talking about the way that we win the battle in the mind is to bring every thought captive to the obedience of the word. And we were in 2 Corinthians chapter 10, and I want to go back there. But on the way there now, I want you to bypass it a little bit and go to chapter 11, and then we're going to come back to chapter 10. I want you to go to chapter 11, verse 3. And I want to read this again. The, I was just, just going to say, one thing I find is that when people are sick, they can say that they are receiving a healing. Mm -hmm. And that way they're speaking what they want. Mm -hmm. <coughs> 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 3. The battle takes place in the mind. Even, right. even the battle for wellness, the battle to walk in divine health. Mm -hmm. You know, God's perfect will for us is not just to get healed. Not just to receive healing. Right. His perfect will is divine health. John 3, 1 John 3 and 2 says, second uh, no, third John 2 says, I wish above all things that you prosper and be in health. I like that. And see, that's one of my confessions is that it says that your soul prosper, which is talking about your mind, your will, and your emotions. One of my confessions in the morning is that because my mind is being renewed by the Word of God, my soul is prosperous. That's right. Therefore, because my soul is prosperous, I am prosperous and I live in health. Mm -hmm. See, I don't just receive healing, I live in divine health. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't matter what kind of types come my way, I live in divine health. Mm -hmm. And when you, when you confess the Word, you release the anointing of God concerning that promise over your life. 
over your circumstances. Amen. Amen. All right. Second Corinthians chapter eleven, verse three. If you have it, say I have it. This is Paul. He says, But I fear that somehow as the serpent deceived Eve mm -hmm. by his craftiness, so your minds may become corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ. So here Paul tells us that the enemy attacks the mind. Mm -hmm. He said, Just like Eve was deceived, you and I can be deceived. That's right. And the way that we can be deceived is by opening our thoughts up or our mind up to receive the thoughts of the enemy. How do I know when I'm receiving the thoughts of the enemy? When they don't line up with the word. When they tell me to do, when, when, it, when, when the thoughts come and they're telling me that I'm defeated, that I'm a loser, that I'm not going to have this, those are thoughts of the enemy. Because Jesus, Jesus said that we have victory through him. So the word says that we're more than conquerors. So God says that I'm a winner. So anything that comes and tells me I'm a loser, I know it's from the, from the enemy. And I won't receive it. And like I told you earlier, the way you receive a thought is by speaking it. Yeah. Once you speak it, once you, just say, once you say, yeah, I'm sick, you just now, now you're taking that thought. Yeah. And you turn on the cycle of death in your life. Remember the Bible says in Romans, not Romans, uh, Proverbs 18, 21, that death and life or in the power of the tongue. Right. So when I speak the negative, I've just turned on the death cycle to, act, to, to, to go to be at work in my life. Y'all all right with that? 